Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy D Mark, aka Slim D, coming to you with a brand new edition of Modern Warfare 3. First game we're playing Search and Destroy on this game. Y'all might not know, but this is my favorite game type to play. It feels like it takes a little bit more skill to be good at hardcore search and destroy or search and destroy in general where when you play team deathmatch or domination or um, the other game types it's more of a uh, checkers game but when you play search and destroy it's more of a chess game you actually gotta think out what you have to do and actually learn the routes and the routines of the other team and you actually got to learn the routes and routines of yourself and your teammates so that you don't get caught up in a situation where you keep running right beside your teammate and uh, maybe your teammates a dumbass and keeps going to the exact same spot every time <coughs> and you get and you get picked off because of your teammate but um, I just wanted to get that out there real quick. But I have a little something to talk about, guys. It's a serious, serious situation. Activision tech support line. Some of you guys might not know. I got reset for no reason. I was a uh, level 60 the first night I got the game. I got the game late. And, uh... When I got off and got back on, they reset me to level 46. Alright, I was pissed, but hey, it's not a big deal. I can get back to that in two hours, three hours, whatever. I forget exactly how long it took me. But not only did they do that, they took my prestige tokens. And they took my uh, double XP. That's what pissed me off. And they, when I called them, they didn't even give a fuck. I'm like, how are your servers going to have a overload and reset me? And I don't get compensated for me putting in the hard work, playing your video game, spending $60 each year, buying every Call of Duty that comes out just because I like to support the first person shooters and I like to kill people without going to jail that is <laughs> and I get nothing for my troubles and the dude on the phone seemed like he didn't even give a fuck like he's like uh, nothing I can do he's like I'll take down the information and gave it to the um, correct people or the um, he said some type of team or something. I was like, what is that going to do for me? Nothing. I was like, I put all this hour into this game. And I get nothing for it. Like, what if it does it again? And you're not going to do nothing about it. Like, what if it actually reset me to level one? Like, come on, son. You got to... I pay this money. I want a reliable game where, where the servers actually work and don't reset me. And he... He didn't want to hear it. He didn't care. It's a shame that I have to put up with that bullshit, yo. If it wasn't for my friends playing this game and for me to actually like killing people, I would never buy an Activision game again. Ever. Oh, dude. I, I just can't stand how he didn't even the slightest like oh dude I'm, I'm sorry about that situation blah 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 nothing but I'm gonna be stop I'm, I'm done talking about fucking Activision they're a joke I actually wanna talk about Modern Warfare 3 the pros and cons of this game the pros it's new and a lot of people are uh, still bad at it Oh, that's a pro. A con. It's new. A lot of people are camping more just because they don't know the maps. And you have to check your corners. 
uh, another pro is that um, it's a lot of different. There's a lot of different game types that I am, I'm actually playing. Like uh, Kill Confirm, lovely game type. If you can't, you can't really win that game unless you have people on your team to get your dog tags. I've been watching a few like people that post kill confirm videos and they didn't go after their own dog tags but they had their teammate do it <sighs> excuse me and they had their teammates go after them and they thought it was impressive gameplay and blah 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 it might have been impressive that you dropped 60 kills and kill confirm but it would have been more impressive if you would have actually got more than five dog tags throughout the whole match. I'm going to post a video probably later this week of uh, the school of the mark of J for kill confirm. <laughs> I'm going to basically teach you guys how to play kill confirm in camp. And uh I I, I want to consider Mark J my boy because I like I never talked to him, but um, like he's in the same circle that I am. So like I'm not clowning him. I think it, he did his thing, whatever. But there, it's not impressive to me because that's like playing domination and not capping a single down point and thinking you're good if you get a lot of kills. You might be good at the game, but I'm more of a support player. I'd rather help my team and get the win and get a lot of kills. Look at these dickhead team killing just so you can get the defuse. So, a lot of people might think I'm a bad player because I might have a few more deaths than the average player that posts 105 games. <laughs> I might not get 105, but I'll get like a 70 and 10 game, but I'll be on the objective every time. I'll be defending the flag every time, and I would be doing my thing. And a lot of those people can't do it. They have to have a certain amount of of teammates so they know where the people are coming from exactly they'll have their teammates set up so they'll be watching their their back and blah 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 and I don't I don't know why people are so impressed by that I mean it's easy mode if I had a actual squad of six people that played domination all you gotta do is cap two flags and make a line from B all the way across the map and there's no way they'll spawn on C or A whichever one whichever flag you don't have and you just gotta watch each little choke point <coughs> just watch the choke points I mean it's it's just easy mode I don't like easy mode I want a challenge that's why I like playing hardcore search because there's no real easy way to win it. Because I, I mean, there really there isn't. If you camp, you can still get beat if you have a good team on the other team. There's like pre fires you can do, but you gotta you gotta learn not to go by the pre fires. So once again, there's the chess mentality of a player. You gotta learn where people pre fire, where people throw pre grenades. And uh, where not to go, where you can stay alive long enough, where you can clutch like myself. This might not be a good gameplay for you guys, but I had fun playing, and it was a 5.0 KD. I mean, I went 10 and 2, search and destroy, my first hardcore search game on the new game, guys, and I had fun. Once again, it's my channel. I upload like what I want to upload, and hopefully, you guys like it at the same time. But I'm out. Peace.